Woo! So today, I want to talk about being young as a state of mind. I'm just crossing the street here. Um, so, I can illustrate this by talking about something that I personally experienced, and I think we've all experienced this, is where someone believes they're too old to do something. Does that sound familiar? I'm too old to do blank. Fill in the blank. So for me, I remember being seven years old, maybe nine years old, somewhere between nine and seven, and seeing on TV like an oriental child, like a five years old, kicking butt performing on the piano. So let's say I was seven and I saw a five-year-old on TV playing piano pretty well and I thought to myself, dang, I wish I had a learned piano when I was five and I was only seven. I was thinking, yeah, by seven it's too late. Hmm, is that true? Do we believe that's true that if you're seven years old, you're too old to learn piano? Hmm, that's one example. Another example, I remember I started going to community college when I was maybe 18 and a half years old. I was 18 and a half years old and I was thinking about in, uh, signing up for classes, enrolling in community college. And because I was so naive, I really thought that 18 and a half was like old. I was like, I'm gonna be one of the old kids in college at 18 and a half. Okay, so I remember I mentioned in yesterday's video that I said I went through a really hard time and I was like depressed. Well, at the height of that depression, I felt like I was too old. Like I was just falling behind the times, like the young, the youngins out there, they're not gonna get me. I'm just like this old man now. And that was at 34. Now that I'm starting to think a little more clearly, I'm thinking that 34 is plenty young and I should be able to make meaningful goals and live out the rest of these. <laughs> Who knows if I die at the average age, let's say of 75, I don't know what that is, the average age of death is, but that leaves me 40 years? Oh look, I, have, I got something in my teeth. Anyways, 40 years I have to make goals, live life, see beautiful things, get through hard times. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I might get sick, I might get injured, I might have emotional things I have to process. But anyways, going back, to something else that I experienced in my life was at 20 years old, I had been really successful in a chess tournament and I won, okay? I won a big chess tournament and I felt like I could accomplish anything I put my mind to at that point. So I wanted to learn piano. And because of the similar intelligence that I'm talking about with you right now, I figured out that, hey, if I start practicing piano now at 20 years old, in 10 years, I can honestly tell people I've been playing piano for 10 years. And that was my goal, like to put in the time so that I will be a pianist with, with some years under his belt after some time. And it worked. It really worked. That was the right mentality to have. The incorrect mentality would have been to think that I'm 20 now, I'm too old to learn piano. So I'm extending that to myself now at 35. I don't know what it is exactly that I'm trying to do, but given any goal, uh, I believe that I am young enough to do most 
most like reasonable goals. Like I'm not gonna try to be in the NFL or the NBA, but I mean certain things that aren't so, so, so competitive, I think I can still accomplish at 35. That's very encouraging. Let me think, there was something else I wanted to say. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it for now. Enjoy the clarity. It's all about thinking positive and, and understanding perspective. We have to gain that perspective. We, oh, here's what I was thinking. Is that money is definitely achievable later in life. For sure. Like, it's so great uh, to have that, you know, motivation, go out there, learn about money. I think that's the key. Instead of thinking about actually having the money, I think the real reward in life is learning about money. And that's according to Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, as the most uh, best-selling finance book of all time. In that book, it talks about the education, invest in your education, the money can come and go. And that's that's my point. In the United States, we seem to be so obsessed with career and money and status, but those types of things are just one little dimension of what it means to have happiness and have satisfaction in life. So besides, you know, you're not too old, you got to think clearly that you're not too old. No matter how old you are, you're not too old. And to go for some things that are really meaningful besides just career and status. Hey, I'm happy for people if their career is going well. I'm sure that feels good. But as far as the whole population is concerned, as Americans, I think we need to dive into learning about other cultures, reading more books, having more art and crafts, and yeah, the art of uh, conversation. There's all, there's so many things. If you can think of cool things that people are kind of lacking in the US culture, or let's just say the modern world, people are forgetting the good things in life, please comment below. If uh, you like this video, please like it. It's raw, it's live, it's really me. These are really my thoughts and these are really some of the things I've lived by over the last 20 years. Thank you so much, have a great day.